Hello everybody, and welcome back to episode 71 of the Artifact Sect. I'm Icon, and we're amassing riches and watching a body cultivator breathe in and breathe out. Well, jokes aside, our main... Our main attention now lies on the development of Miyushi and the attempt of bursting down that uh, water dragon. There's really not that much more that I want to do in this uh, run, but at the same time, it, it's really interesting to see what we what we can do and what we learned out of that. So basically, these episodes now are more and more a, well, a preparation and a summary of what I did wrong. <laughs> a preparation for the next one and a summary of things that I feel like could have done a lot better. I think really for the next time, that whole sub-spirit thing, I'll be only doing this for my sect leader. Nobody else really needs to go for deeper sub-spirit attachments. Maybe I'll be discovering something really cool when I'm be when I'll be doing this on the next sect. But uh, for for now, well, you know, it's pretty cool as it is, but. What I learned about Jinju's, uh, with, with Jinju's uh, sub-spirit experimentations there really showed me that it would have been a lot smarter to not use the medicines, and I will be never ever using medicines again. The only, the other thing, well, I'm not gonna be using them never again, but I'm not gonna be using them just for leveling purposes. That's what I was uh, trying to say. So, it seems as if the summer time is also not the best time for lunar essence gathering, but well... It's a pretty rough thing now. Oh, what has paused me? Yushi's mood is deteriorating, or was it the falling treasure? If I only knew, but I actually wanted to check out where we're going to go for Hey, so there's another attack. So last episode we also lost a lot of uh, our cultivators by not tanking the enemy properly. I'm not going to be making that mistake twice. So these dudes, they really have a lot of uh, a lot of battle power now, gotta say. There we go. It's not Yushi's ideal breathing time, so we can just uh, send him slapping dudes. And because I'm tired of that one particular bug, I'm also not going to loot their bodies anymore. I gotta say, it feels pretty, pretty fulfilling to not have to do this anymore. But I was actually busy with other things when those filthy, filthy raiders attacked me. So. Let's see. Gotta say, there's already a lot of uh, development here done. Here, the pinky's looking good. So. I probably should start queuing these. Oh, oh yeah, th those fingers. Those fingers are exactly what we're looking for. Okay, so I, I really realized that it's this, this black screen mode is actually pretty good because it does prompt me immediately whenever something something happens here in the world. Whereas this was not as good anymore. <laughs> this was not ha working out that good without that screen. But I gotta say. Lunar, the, the Lunar Essence uh, speed gain is really uh, horrible. Zhang Zhang fell to the demon's side. Why, actually? What's wrong, dude? Why are you so unhappy? Awkward cohabitation. Living without her disciples. Alright. You do know that there's a uh, little bed for you. Here in your cultivation room, man. <laughs> Don't need to sleep with the outers. I don't know. It's a little bit sad when that happens. This shows me in what kind of horrible disrepair the sect has uh, fallen, but honestly, 
I, I am at this point, quite frankly, only interested in going for this uh, dragon fight anymore. Everything else is not interesting anymore. So let's hope that Zhang Zhang is uh, going to chill down again. I mean, that uh, cohabitation issue is a real big issue for them. Cultivators hated to be among mortals. Male cat hurt. How did the cat get hurt? Heat stroked. Yeah, that's just how, what happens when they when the animals try to live at the cultivator's place. Yeah, the cat lost consciousness. I heard that story before. It's a little bit cruel, but there's uh the Lushu, okay. So I got six of these. Ah, <laughs> the enemies are not attacking us anymore. Okay, well... Chen's mood is deteriorating due to extreme pain. What's wrong, buddy? Extremely scarred, huh? So... He, his name is Normal Life Chen, which is really sad because this is nowhere near close of a normal life here. But, well... Can't really do much for him there. But, yeah, okay. The pain at least subsided. Okay. Well... I feel like this is one of the one of the worst slow burn grinds in the game, and this is something I really really will work on harder in the coming runs. That, you know, I, I had literally no idea about the freaking importance of of lunar essence, and due to the fact that I haven't found anything yet that you could just consume to acquire that essence, I don't know. I'll just keep going like I am going right now because I really don't see any other bigger option that I could go for. So we're we're ready for the next uh, remolding stage there soon, with the coming of the next night, and that'll be the upgrade for the Almighty Index Finger. So a level one body part only needs. Eight units of uh, essence there, and that's why it's that good. Go away, man. We're not trading with you anymore. So, I really still got no clue about the whole Jean Dao uh, shenanigans, but honestly, I have utterly failed to make a plan of that. Somehow, this uh, this whole artifact series has been hijacked by the body cultivation and. <laughs> Well, okay. I mean, I had to learn about this for real, so I'm not going to regret the the focus I had on the series, but I find that quite amusing, never, nevertheless. Okay, so that's three Yaogai cultivators with combat power pretty close to the 10,000s. Okay. So things are really uh, turning into something else now. Wonder how long my dog will be able to actually tank these people anymore. It's gonna be all over soon. So really wonder if I should tank that dragon actually with my cultivators or if I just send in the body cultivator because he's just that good at tanking stuff. Well, Is my body cultivator bugged or no? Or enemies are just that tanky. 333k. 73k. So look at the doggo. He's actually 50% uh, downed. Ah. Uh, that's the nasty uh, Yao guy cultivators. Hit like a truck. 
Icebound bone. Icebound bone. Come on, gimme, give gimme, give gimme give all four. I'd love that. Well, the throwback ain't necessary right now, but if you have nothing better to pick, why shouldn't you? Just simply, why shouldn't you? Okay, that's one more person closer, so we only need four person now. And more rogue cultivators, so... There's a sea of artifacts lying around here. So let's check out these dudes. Compared to the enemies before, these are actually a massive joke. And because that's the case, Situ June is going to take care of them. Actually, Situ June is not really and is anything but weak, but you know. So let's wait for that being finished. All right, but I learned so much about the the body cultivation in this series that I'm quite happy about that, especially about the usage and importance of essences. That was really one big, big uh, step forward. So we gained six. No, we gained four, and six are missing. Alright, that's 91... no, it's only 91%? Nah, it's 92%. You're kidding me. It's a bad joke, isn't it? So... Yeah, here we go. So only three more person to go. Impatience kicking in hard now. But I think it would be really, really awesome if we'd get another Polar Night event. But I mean, it's not going to happen during summer or something like that. But I just realized that the Polar Night event is actually, whenever that happens, I should totally let my body cultivator just do his thing the entire day. And nothing else. You know. Alright. He's just uh, gaining one or two essences, uh, or, uh, well, two to four per day, tops. At this point, we're really only waiting for this guy to uh, get his remolds done. But at the same time, well, there's really, we're really just that close before, uh, before finishing here. Can't wait. I mean, a certain part of me wonders if I'm not totally overdoing it and if we wouldn't be able to just, uh, get it done, get the dragon done already, you know? It could be also the case, but, you know... All the people that I've read about that actually did it successfully, they were all reading they had a 95% dodge chance. So you guys see me excited here. So I just realized that I still have a couple of uh, so, uh, of these um, solar essences, so let's see. Blaze Bone is not fully maxed out here, and on these, so here we have three, here we have none. So you know what, we're going to use a couple of these, so uh, let's see, Blaze Bone is maxed out here, ain't maxed out here, and Directional Concord Measure was my other attack technique, it's, uh, yeah. Shouldn't be, but whatever. <laughs> so, a blaze bone. A blaze bone. Okay. I didn't put any solar essences into the muscles there, but I somehow have a slight feeling as if 
this game will work quite similarly and give me some fire type upgrade also into the muscle let's see just want to do something you know with my with my time because that uh that day breathing time isn't really useful you know so we might as well just uh, cultivate a bit and tweak up that battle power just a little bit or at least try to you know i discovered that all the all body parts were compatible with the solar um upgrade with the lunar upgrade so that global dodge thing happened on every body part so I just want to try what do, what does happen if I smack the solar essence on, on muscles now, you know. We have the time to try that out. Alright, so that's uh that's ACS late game. A wood wall is under attack. But seriously, this uh this fast forward mode is brilliant. Like uh Usually, I keep missing these events, you know? This happens to me so often that I actually don't catch these. And with that mode, I haven't cat I haven't- I don't lose them because you can't see them, so the game automatically shows them all to you. This is actually pretty useful. Okay. So... Well, I'm basically only two big remolds away from from the breakthrough there. Okay, let's see. Sunray blood increases attack accuracy. Okay, that's totally useless. Dang. Okay, I could have. Uh... Oh wait a sec, unhinged blood. I. I should have checked out that one. Whoopsie! So, 81k on that one. Well, let's see, what can we do here? So this has three charges of blaze bone. This also has three charges, so let's just... Uh, let's go for that one, then. Okay. Seven refugees joined Seascape. Eh, we're, we might be actually done with some parts of, uh, of the world already. I love this. This is uh, by far the most successful sect that I've ever played in the game. And while I feel like I'm neglecting these poor souls a bit, at the same time I feel like I, like I did it, you know? Yeah, I finally won Ignis Essence. Huh. Oh? Yay! Come on, give me four. That would be so awesome. If I'd get four of these. Yes. yes. Well, three, that's 50. Yes! So we're only lacking 1% of global dodge. Awesome. Hell yeah. So, there's only one more remold necessary. So, I'll be actually doing that dragon fight as a separate video, because I felt like there's not too many records of that. Uh, on, well, okay, maybe there are totally lots of videos, I haven't checked. But I felt like, come on, that's, that's such an epic uh, event. This should deserve some showcase, me, Yushi, getting eaten by a dragon. Who would not, who, who would want to miss that, you know? So, let's use that, um, let's use that Ignis Essence. So, I wonder, you know, Imperishable Bone? No, 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 no. Five Element Fists. So, I wanted to check out something. The five element fists technique needed 
here. Elm organ, iron side organ, equable, yes. No, they need these innate essences. Okay. Innate elemental essences. So I have asked this question several times now on this series and nobody was able to give me an answer. That's <laughs> that's slightly uh disconcerting, you know. So well I don't have fourteen charges of Ignis Ascense, so well. Too bad. Everlasting sentence. So, how about that? Let's try that. I should definitely try to utilize all those essences that I haven't used yet. Like, uh, you know, really find out what they can do for me. A blaze bone. So, everlasting essence was uh, definitely. Oh no, that was the solar essence uh, re remold. Never mind. A misled. Okay. Just uh, maxed out that thing there. Here, uh, we're remolding with that stuff. So, germination essence. Spring. Blossom essence. Summer. Filth essence. Cursed Feng Shui. Withering. So, these are definitely linked to the, uh, to the seasons. So, there's seasonal essences. Ancient Beast's Bone Essence. Alright. So, let's see. This is a defensive body, so... Air. Is there anything special about this essence, or am I just extremely unlucky here? It's always hard to tell. But there was... Seriously, nothing here that was of any interest there. That's pretty brutal. Okay, let's drop down some Blossom Essence. And... I'll just, uh, I'm just doing some random remolds here because I feel like the, uh... These body parts are really not powerful enough. And I really want to find out what these uh what these essences do, you know. Alright. So this definitely turned into some weird kind of uh, simula uh, management simulator, <laughs> and uh, no much longer is this a uh, has this any uh, survival or settlement simulator uh, vibes. This is a cultivation. Uh, this is a cultivator sim. Today we're playing body cultivator sim. Relic ocean. I don't even care about relics anymore. <laughs> So I really wonder how the hell you're uh, getting your mental state higher on, on, on body cultivators, though. I really feel like I'm doing a, a, a terrible job there. But they can't equip anything there. Well, I could go for scented satchels, possibly. But no, you can't equip them either. So no. Ah, here. There's items, though. Yes, I can. So... Let's see. Is there any scented? No. So, this would be something we could try to produce. These are made at the handcraft table, aren't they? Polar night! Okay, we're, uh... We're now breathing, breathing in the goodness. Alright. But... Invasion of Beasts... Alright, so... 
And this is something we need to act on now. Alright. Err. Why is the dog running all the way there? Whatever. I'm gonna send my Jandal, dude. Okay. So, there we go. Everything went well. I just didn't want to uh, stop him from spending his time so what i really want to know now is uh is it possible or not and can we produce those scented satchel thingies please i want to know oh that's the medicine table i want to know if that's a thing that can't right raise his uh mental state here we go ah Foolish cultivators. So this is really, really important to do this like that. Um, yo, dog, what, what the hell is happening? I really start being super confused. My easy walk the way back there. Like, I give, I order him to attack an enemy there, and then he's walking all the way there. You know, I'm playing this game so long now, and there's still so often things that just give me a big WTF on the, on the nose. Where I'm like, what the hell's happening here? I don't understand this game. But whatever. I don't call it Amazing Confusion Simulator for no reason. Yo, can somebody just smack this dude? I mean... Hello? What the hell? Why? I actually assigned you dudes to kill him. Or usually they do. Citrujun just left out by the combat. So this is one of those situations where I'm always super confused about what the heck actually happens there? I mean, why didn't they kill that guy? Why didn't they, did they leave the combat? Why are they not really hurting this dude with really measly stats like he, nobody knows. But I really hope that combat is something that will be seriously overhauled during, uh, for ACS2, because honestly, this is one of the most blatantly uh, horrible parts of the game. I can't really sugarcoat it. Combat in this game is, to most parts, pretty crappy, because, you know, you just can't really rely on your experiences. You always have to... Um, you always have to check out what's actually happening. Your strategies are only so-and-so useful because sometimes the game just uh, decides to uh, not play along the same rules it did before, aka it bugs out in some, po in, in some point, and yeah, things get pretty horrible from there on. So there was one thing that I wanted to do and I forgot about it. Too bad. Well... Anywho, so I think we don't need to go for all that breathing anymore. Ah, yeah, now I want it. Oh, no, I know what I wanted. So the satchels. Because I'm pretty sure that this is uh, the the entire pro problem. Like, uh, this guy's mood is too horrible. Like, I really think that this is the entire issue there. And oddly enough, nobody wants to handcraft these. So I could be a lot faster if I wouldn't be neglecting the mental state of my body cultivator that much. But I really had trouble finding out how to do this. So. Sprouting bone. Okay. Psychic bone. Baleful bone. 
Sprouting Bone. I guess the Sprouting Bone upgrade is the, is the special one. And the more I play around with these essences, it seems to be pretty a pretty simple and straightforward system. Like, green upgrades, blue upgrades, purple upgrades. And, I don't know, probably these uh, super fancies, they might have a unique orange upgrade, I have no clue. So, that's one thing that we could be trying out. Let's do one thing first. So, let's see. Baleful Bone, Sprouting Bone, yeah, okay. Definitely the product of the Blossom Essence, but honestly, since this is a defensive body, I don't think that I'll be doing badly by applying these. So, Icebound Bones all the way already there. I think here, that's what I was looking for. Boom. So... Vitalize Flesh. Enhance Flesh. Bestial Flesh. Well, Mutator Tissues. Cool. Unhinged Blood. Body Power. Okay. Yeah, so the, the Yao Gai Essences are really interesting there. They do a lot of different things. They're a little bit more versatile than the other ones. Okay, then. Let's hope that the uh, essence is not... Uh, lunar essence is not letting me down here. Looks like it does try to, though. Oh hell yeah. That one time when you when you rely on on the luck of the draw, you know. There's only one. I bet there's not going to be none now on that one. To give me the ultimate middle finger. But if that would have been the case, I would have been like, okay, we're going to try that dragon with 94.5%. Okay, so now I could of course grind up my stats like a madman and uh, try to actually get somewhere else, but you know what, we're, we're done with that. So I thank you guys so much for watching. Global Dodge 95 achieved, that's what I wanted to do, and next time we're going to bash that dragon. So thank you so, so much for watching. Next episode will be the finale of the Artifact Sect, so uh, don't miss it. I mean, it's going to be a a very very short episode i suppose because we're just going to fight that dragon and then uh cherish ourselves or uh, or mourn the loss that's going to be it's going to be um yeah we're, we're going to see how that will go down anywho my friends so drop me your comments down below leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and of course consider subscribing if you haven't done so already there's daily content coming up from my side see you guys next time and goodbye